Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher with my dog Bailey, and the game we're playing is Final Fantasy Explorers for the Nintendo 3DS. Oh yeah, man. Today's Tuesday, January 26th, and Final Fantasy Explorers just came out, man, in North America. Good stuff, right, buddy boy? We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is gonna be a walkthrough with commentary with webcam. Uh, I'm gonna put you down, buddy boy. Why don't you go take a nap? You don't get enough nap time, right? Okay, good stuff. Yeah, I just picked this game up from GameStop. I'm very excited to play it. Some of you may be familiar with me, and you know how I do uh, some of my walkthroughs, and I, I do it with a webcam. Some of you may be stumbling upon this walkthrough uh, and are not familiar with me. And if not, hello, how are you? And, uh, you know, if you don't know, for those of you who don't know, I love Final Fantasy games. I've been playing Final Fantasy games since the early, early 90s. My first one was Final Fantasy II IV. Uh, on the SNES back in 1991 when that was released. Love that game. It's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, man. But this, this is going to be an awesome game, too. Uh, let me read the back real quick. A couple things here. Explore a new world. Adventure solo or together uh, with two to four player co-op. Ooh. Battle together, up to four players. Over 20 jobs to explore and master. Iconic Final Fantasy characters and monsters. And uh, if I can just maybe show you the back here. You guys can kind of see that a little bit. A little bit of reflection, but, you know. And you can see Cloud. You can see Lightning. There's going to be familiar faces, of course. So, got the Nintendo 3DS right here. And let's press the Any button if I can find it. Oh, right. There it is. So, uh, okay. New game. And, um... Here, I'm going to show you a couple things real quick. Um, yeah, new slot here. A couple slots, new game. And, like, a lot of games... You know, you can create, like, a, a custom name, avatar, all that kind of thing. So, I already did that ahead of time. I just want to show you guys a, a little peeksy at that process. So, you know, enter your name, whatever. Who cares? Uh, should I look at the Nintendo 3DS or my monitor? Just so you don't get confused, uh, the Nintendo 3DS screen is also displayed on my one of my monitors right in front of my face. So, if I'm looking forward, you know, you won't be confused by, by what I'm looking at. Um, okay. So, what, uh, you, you put in a name. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Um, yeah, put that in. Very good. Okay. We're not gonna go with that, but whatever. Um, so then you just go on with the gender voice. You can make yourself, uh, male or female. You know. Add a voice. Oh, and test the voice. And you can do other stuff. Skin tone, of course. There you go. All the colors of the rainbow, man. Uh, face, eye color. You can uh, give yourself a type of your face. Uh, very happy. I'm very happy. And you can do whatever you want with the eyes. There you go. And uh, hairstyle and color type. Let's see here. Okay, there you go. And then, of course, you can change the hair color as well. My wife is very, very into it. In fact, she might actually like this right here. Hey, Ty, you watching later? Leave me a comment. This is just by coincidence. You all, you love that purple, you know, setup character. The purple-haired characters. You got green eyes right there. Yeah, my wife would totally dig that custom avatar uh, character there. So, you know, you just play around with that. Okay, and then off you go. You begin your game. Um, I'm gonna return to the title screen because I already did that process because, you know, you want to take a little bit of time. You want the right eye color and the right hair color and all that stuff. So, um, we're gonna begin this game and this is gonna take us right to the opening, uh, scene of the game. So nothing's missed or anything like that. Don't worry. I made sure. So, uh, okay. We, uh, no, we want to go to the main menu here and continue. Yeah, not overwrite. Okay, good stuff, guys. Let's uh, let's start Final Fantasy Explorers. This is gonna be fun.
All right. Nice intro there. I am a reader of dialogue uh, in video games. I wasn't expecting the dialogue to be there, but you know, it's kind of appropriate. It's kind of appropriate to let that flow there. And I do have the little stylus pen ready, just in case I need it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, uh, hello. Attack and movements, normal attack, the Y button, moving around, sprinting around. Okay. I wonder how many uh, tutorials we're gonna we're gonna get here. I might need this. All right, so good stuff. What's what's the next screen here? Hello. Normal. Why? Okay. Oh, there we go. Man, uh, the directionals. A little bit of a brain fart there. Okay. Okay, attack and movement. Sprinting costs AP. Recover AP by damaging enemies with normal attacks. It also recovers automatically over time. Thank you. Now I can close. Good stuff. Run! You must escape that place. Oh no. You there! In the cave, along the wall. You must escape that place. That is Bahamut, and you are no match for him. Alright, press the A button at the checkpoint. Camera controls up, down, left, right, control pad. Yeah, when using the circle pad, you must configure. Yeah, you can configure stuff and options. Uh huh. Head for the checkpoint shown on the touch screen. There you go. Right there, down below for you guys. Hmm. Oh, there's the uh, sprinting around. Good stuff. All right, let's let's get out of here. I guess over over this way. <laughs> That's how you exit. Whoa, better exit quick. That's Bahamut, man. That was a close one. Your attacker was none other. Your attacker was none other than Bahamut. The Edolan who rules the skies. As long as he remains, you cannot approach the Grand Crystal from above. There is a town just up ahead. Go there now, and please take care. My name? I am Sarama. Perhaps we will meet again. Until then, farewell. That's my custom character I created on the uh, left, by the way, of course. Need help? Don't remember seeing you before. You an explorer too? I'm Ludio, an explorer here in Libertus. Good to meet you. You gotta register with the Union, if you want to work. They're right along the square there. Should be an old dude out in front. Oh, that's the Chief. He's the one you gotta talk to. Anything you don't understand, uh, just ask me. I'll be glad to help you out. Later! And the first thing I would like to do is uh, make the dialogue faster. <laughs> I don't know if we can right now manage uh, presets. Hmm. Room, room quests, friend list, room info, loadout, log, chat, and all the all the us uh, usual stuff. There is the street pass, the assignments, quest info. Okay, interesting. Can't do too much right now. Of course, we got our map down below. Tutorials. I don't... You know what, guys? I don't really want to get into the tutorials right now. This is just going to be a, a fun old time, you know? Let's not get, like, too crazy. I just want to have a casual playing experience here. Do some quests. Have some fun. <sighs> and who are you? Never seen your mug before. What? 
you an explorer? With that vacant look in your eyes and all. I'm not sure I believe it, but uh, sure, whatever. I'm Rosaria. Pleasure. Yeah? What is it this time? You want to fly an airship? Uh, sorry, but no dice. Only the Union can use Am Amostra airspace, I'm afraid. You'll never get permission if you don't up your game. But, you know, do your best and all. Really, can't I... How can I make the dialogue... Scroll faster. Room info, loadout... I don't... Man, you know, change job, abilities, equipment, you know, all that kind of thing, of course. Manage presets... No, this isn't... Where could it be? I hope it does be somewhere. Surely it has to exist. Maybe I just haven't discovered it. Oh well. We'll see. We'll see, but for now, why don't we... Look around here. I see the exclamation point on the map. Probably should go talk to that guy. I'm going to talk to a couple of these soldiers first. Uh -huh. Hey there. You must be the new explorer. You must be the new explorer I've heard about. I'm pretty new to Amostra myself. She owns the name. I hope we two newbies can stick together. Uh, hey. I heard the Guardia Empire made this central crystal to help develop the island. If you've got a permit, this crystal can help you master abilities and do other explorey stuff. Handy, huh? You sure don't see this kind of thing much back where I'm from. This island is full of things I still don't understand. Uh, hey, maybe we can do a little uh, info swap uh, one of these days. Are you coming on to me? All right, you. Hey. A grand crystal that can pierce the very clouds above. Mm, fantastic. I've never seen one that huge. So, you must have come here looking for that new grand crystal too, huh? Hmm. It's every explorer's dream to lay claim to a grand crystal that nobody's ever even touched. Oh, uh, the name's Ardo, otherwise known as the man who'll conquer Amostra's Grand Crystal. That guy is cocky. Hmm. This leads up here, though. <clears throat> hey, you. Uh, why, hello. Are you new here? <laughs> no need to be so nervous. I won't bite. I'm Beatrice. And I'm an explorer just like you. If we're both in the same business, we ought to be friendly in more ways than one. <laughs> All right, you're coming. Now she's coming on to me. Come on, easy lady. Easy. Jeez. <clears throat> oh, and the Moogle. How you doing? Koopa, Popo. And nice to meet you, Koopo. I'm the Moogle with the biggest travel bug, Koopo. The power of nature here really brings out the best in me, Koopo. I think I'll stick around in Libertus a while, Koopo. Koopo. Oh, isn't that nice? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back down and go to the little exclamation point. This place is fine. Oh, shops. Yeah, shop stuff, workshop, fortune, fortune teller. Oh, you know, I feel like the fortune teller is underutilized in video games today, or uh, yeah, RPG-ish games today. You know what I mean. I wonder if I can check out this Chris. Nah. Uh, oh, I bet this is jobs. Yeah, si yeah, Simon's Quest. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to... Let's talk to this guy, I guess. I don't really want to. Look at this mug, man. It's a huge mug. I'm a little annoyed, though. I want to return it. I can't find the receipt to this thing. No one cares about what I'm talking about right now. Nobody. Uh, I want to return it. I just got it. There's a crack right here, and water comes out of it. Just a tiny bit sometimes. It really makes me mad. I, it's a huge mug. I like a good mug. Okay, you guys don't care. Let's talk to this guy. 
Hello, and welcome to Libertas, branch of Explorers' Union. I'm Sid, the one in charge of this branch office. The name rings a bell, you say? Hmm. I used to be an explorer myself. Oh, once upon a time. Hmm. Now, you're hardly the first explorer to come hoping to benefit from Amostra's Grand Crystal. Hmm, but... For all the lofty dreams and goals here, there are scads of fierce monsters waiting to squash them. I know you know you think you've got what it takes, but we give new explorers a little test uh, just to make sure. Pass, and you'll be registered as an explorer out of this branch office and can work here on Amostra. Uh, first, talk to Marie at that counter there. She'll give you the lowdown. I'm looking forward to your passing the test and getting down to work here. New tutorial quest unlocked. <laughs> uh, first, hit up the quest desk and take care of the basic certification exam. Once you've got a quest, you can leave. You can leave from the village gates. Show me what you can do. Oh, of course, yeah, I don't know why that didn't come to me. I was just like, oh, tap the button, dude. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's great and all, but I still prefer to just make the, you know, uh, the the text dialogue happen faster. There's there still has got it. There should be a, a setting for that. Regardless, at least I can do the uh, the quick fix. Anyway, we got the quest, the assign. I'm gonna go to assignments first, even though I'm not supposed yes. to. Our services are only available to permit carrying explorers. I I thought so. All right, let's let's check out our first quest, guys. Welcome back! Uh, hello there! This is the Union's Quest Desk. All new explorers are asked to take basic certification exams. Once you have a quest, you can leave from the village gates. Good luck! Um, well, it looks like I'm stuck with the tutorial quests. Quests? Quest. Give me one, let's go. The, the basic certification exam, fine. Uh, okay. Defeat any ten monsters. Good, let's go do some battling. Except, thank you very much. Is that it? You know, I do have some uh, cashola. Maybe I should go to those shops. Is this the town exit? Listen. Oh, hey there. I see you had a chat with the old guy. You plan on sticking around here and I'm... I, I hate this word. You plan on sticking around here on Amostra as an explorer, right? Me, I've been around the block a few times. You got questions, you come see me. Uh, not to stick my nose in your business, but I'll gladly share anything I know with you. So, okay, I'm not going through all this, guys. I am not on the videos. You know, battle basics, pro battle tips, jobs, ability basics, crystal surges, oh boy. Uh, quest overviews, libertas, status basics, items, equipment, monster, te monster teams, and additional tips. Some of them, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm sure, uh, yeah, I'll, I, I got you, I got you, and then it's like, hmm, what, what, do, you, what do you think that one's about? Hmm, there's a couple things there, maybe, it could be, like, a little crazy. What? Look, I told you, you can't go flying any airships. Those are only for the Union. Sometimes I like to rephrase things. Uh, it's just my preference. I'm so, I'm so great. I can't get into the water. Invisible walls. Don't you just love invisible walls in video games? <clears throat> okay, now before I leave, I am going to go over to the these shops here. Ooh, fortune teller first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hmm. You hardly need of You hardly have need of me just yet. Uh, first, get permission from Sid or you'll never get anywhere. You know, that's disappointing. Can I even shop? Good day. Uh, I'm afraid we can only do business with permit-carrying explorers. And after you came all this way, <laughs> come back again once you've got that permit. Okay, but what about just the shop shop? Come on. Hello. Uh, I'm not supposed to sell any items to any explorers who don't have permits. I'm really sorry. Uh, come back again when you have a permit, okay? Oh, butthole. Let's see, I assume this is the exit. Embark? Let's go. <laughs> mm. The leggy step. 
Leggy. Leggy? Uh, a quest begins when you take on a quest in Libertus and leave the town limits. Re uh, review quest tasks under the quest info in the combat menu. Right, right directional pad button there. When your HP reaches zero, you're done! And you can, ex you can expend time to recover and continue with your quest. However, go over the time limit and you'll fail the quest. Hmm. Alright, so boop -a boop -a boop we're running around. And there's the timer right there. I'm not a fan of timers. I mean, it's an hour. So we can run. You can see my number dropping. The yellow bar. 17, 16, and 15, and so forth. It goes back up. You know, yeah, the Y button. Doing some attacking. Wish I had a... Oh, look. Okay. X button pulls up your menu for potions, ethers, remedies, all that stuff. Um, using abilities. Abilities are powerful actions. Uh, be they special wep uh, weapon removes or bursts of magic. Select the ones you want while uh, in town. Using abilities. Uh, show abilities. Hold L. Hold R. Use abilities. L button plus X, Y, B. All that stuff. Using uh, abilities. Cost AP. Recover AP by damaging enemies with normal attacks. It also recovers automatically over time, like running. Once you use an ability, you can't use the same one again for a while. This period is called the cooldown. The cooldown period uh, varies by the ability. All right. Uh, so uh, Renaissance is a phenomenon that uh, enhances uh, abilities that are used together. Raise your uh, re resonance, I should have said, by linking abilities together. I need a coffee. Uh, the higher your uh, resonance, the greater an ability's effect when used. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Are we almost done? Yeah, okay. I mean, let's just get through it. I'm kind of one of those guys that likes to um, get through it, man. Man, a drink. So, I mean, you can run and just kind of put your hand... To, you know, you know how I'm playing it, guys. If you have a 3DS, you get it sometimes. I wish there was a jump button. Follow small. Oh, look at that. We can, with the directional up and down... Uh, buttons, we can kind of tilt the screen, which is kind of cool. Using, <laughs> look at this, using combat items. Items like potions you can use on quests, uh, you can carry certain amounts. Uh, when leaving on a quest, you'll automatically carry the... When leaving on a quest, you'll automatically carry the max number of each combat item in, in your inventory. Huh. Okay. Open the item menu, select stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Really? That's kind of interesting. Can we do, like, back attacks and stuff? Yeah, try and hit me. Yeah, I dodged you. Monsters left to defeat. Nine, it tells you, you know. So that's nice, of course. hoo -ah! I wonder when we're going to get the combo moves. There's going to be combo moves. Take! Whatever that is. Oh, it's a vicious fang and a sharp fang. Oh, here we go with that. Item collecting. Item collecting. Can I... Oh, I missed that one. Can I say something without you guys jumping on me? You know? Uh, I'm not a... I was not a big fan of the Final Fantasy 13 series, which had a lot of that item collecting and mixing and matching and creating new items and that kind of thing. It's not really... <clears throat> it's not really my uh, cup of tea there. Big old, uh, big old tea with a crack in it. Big old teacup with a crack. Good stuff, man. Okay. Do the monsters not... Follow small. Okay, yeah, here we go. Cool. So, it's not, it, the monster doesn't register on your map, though. Hmm, why not? But you can do a follow, which is kind of cool, I guess. And I, you know, I have plenty of time. I'm just kind of showing a couple things off. That follow is kind of cool. I can't follow 
any monster I want. So in this game, we will, we will at some point be able to play as like classic Final Fantasy characters, Cloud, Lightning, you know, Squall, Locke, Cecil, I, I believe just, well, maybe not everybody, but a lot. That's for sure. hoo -ah! This is, this is a fun game. I, I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty fun game. Especially if you're into this sort of thing. I think, um, you know, people will definitely dig it. It might not be that kind of RPG for everyone. You can probably tell already there's just, you know, it's going to be kind of one of those quest games. So, yeah, follow large, follow small. Can't do that right now because there's, like, nothing really on the, uh, on the indicator. But if you get close enough, then, yeah, then that happens and you can lock on. You gotta believe you can only use the touch screen for that. Oop! Yeah, I think you can only use the touch screen to do the locking on kind of thing. What's this? Hmm. I obtained a magic droplet. And a sunlight. Sunlight do. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna be collecting a bunch of stuff and making stuff. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Not my favorite thing in the world, but okay, we're gonna be doing it. Let's do a little running. And I am pretty sure we're gonna be able to uh, up our running uh, gauge, you know, stats, of course, so we can run longer. Yeah, probably. Little bat dudes, pretty easy. Well, it's a tutorial. It's gonna be easy right now. Yeah, you don't have to always follow. I mean, it's pretty like, you know, just find your monster. You want to go in that cave right now, guys? Let's check out the cave. Hooah! The Hibot Foothills. Hmm. Oh, and look, you can see. Roop, roop. You can see where we're going. Oh, the Final Fantasy bomb. I love the Final Fantasy bomb. Hey, guys. What was your first Final Fantasy bomb experience? Was it in Final Fantasy VII? You know? For me, it was in... Whoa, oh, I got a little damage. Whoa, hey, now. For me, these guys... Oh, wow, they're ganging up on me here a little bit. For me, my, fir my, for me, my first Final Fantasy bomb experience was in Final Fantasy IV, when Yang and his monk dudes got ambushed. Oh, wow, let's press... When uh, Yang and his monks were um, ambushed on Cecil and his party members' journey uh, to Fabal, or Fabal, or however you want to pronounce that one, uh, to request help and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, Yang was ambushed, his, his monk dudes were killed, and I remember that battle just being so epic, guys. And like some of you younger people might like look at that. Uh, scene from that game and be like, oh, that's just so silly, basic, and like, you know, 16-bit stuff. But man, back in the day, I will say, that was just so exciting, you know? Old excitement, and we got new excitement here, you know? I'm sure the new excitement will be just like crazy battles, getting into crazy battles. I went into this cave, and you can instantly see how it got a little harder, got a little more crazy. Uh, and I guess, I guess the quest is complete, whatever. Um, oh, yeah, clear time, so get ready for that kind of stuff. Difficulty, meh. Clear time, clock revivals, CP earn bonus, total CP, rewards, eh, all that stuff. So there you go. And, uh, you know, all the, the things we picked up. Yeah, alright. So we're auto really automatically taken... Yeah, I guess that's cool. You know, so you don't have to walk all the way back every time. Hmm. <laughs> ah, seems like you got your basic skills down now. Now, to see if you know your way around a crystal surge. As you know, crystal surges work through an explorer's crystallizer tool. Uh, using the power of crystals to bend the laws of nature and trigger various phenomena in the vicinity. Our technology hasn't given us total control over them yet, 
But use them right, and you can take the upper hand in a battle. Go back to the counter, and Marie will give you that crystal surge exam. New tutorial quest unlocked. <laughs> now to see if you know your way around a crystal surge. So guys, it looks like we're going to be checking out this crystal surge thing. And uh, yeah, I, you know, you, you got you to gotta know that there's going to be a whole lot more to this game than just going out there and swinging your sword around, that being it. We're going to be battling in so many ways. It's Final Fantasy, guys. What do you think? Good stuff? Bailey? We're... He's over there. He's on the pillow. Uh, in some of my walkthroughs, I got a dog cam uh, set up. Uh, I hope you guys are okay with no dog cam this time around. I could do it, but no. Nah, I think we'll go with this setup. The 3DS setup. The boxes looking good, man. Guys, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, if you want to see more, you know, leave me those comments. And tell me uh, tell me what you want to see, maybe. Uh if you know this game already a little more than I do, if, if you know what's to come, if you've purchased this game and you've already played a couple hours into it, you know, tell me what you want me to check out, maybe. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to call it a wrap right here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, guys, you can follow me on my social media pages, including my Patreon. All that stuff is in the video description below. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy Explorers. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.